Alright, and I'm back. And my cat is making noises again. Alright. So. Where do I find a core? I need to dig under this, maybe? Apparently not. Okay, maybe it's not, it's not here. So I shall head off this way and travel through the shroud. Aha! So that's, I need a special ring that. Wow, that was amazing. I'm going to close these so I don't do that again. Oh. I was going to, uh, oh, never mind. I forgot what lumber to, okay. 
I was thinking I had put points towards archery, but I've been going more for melee. So I'll probably just go with a melee build. Oh sure, I could sneak, or I could just do this. I can do it so quickly. Little scripts. Little scraps, torn cloth, animal fur. Another failure. The cinder vessel broke down during testing. The rat I used inside was charred by the coalescent flame. A bright flash, then nothing. Thankfully, the side effect of blindness was only temporary. I've acquired a new subject, another rat, Igni. Hopefully, our path to salvation. I cannot accept more setbacks. I will ensure that the cinder vessel holds as if my life depended on it. It may well. Balthazar. <laughs> Eureka! By the ancients, I've done it. Equilibrium. The subject sleeps, yet can be awakened. They are dead yet alive. The subject does not decay, is untouched by the coarse flow of time. A flame soul in a mortal body. Igni serves as proof. We can survive. We can endure. These cinder vessels will be our only chance amidst the shroud. We have no other choice. Love, Balthazar. Ooh, powder ball. How are these things supposed to work? I mean, were they gonna have somebody over here like launch them with a catapult or somebody succumb to the shroud while transporting everybody over in a cart? Just accidentally drink too. Venture forth. It's done. The cinder vessel is a delicate contraption, still volatile, yet brimming with potential hope. The first human to enter will be our true prototype, the kindling of a new spark. Thankfully, the blacksmith volunteered. He must enter the vessel and sleep until roused anew, lest he slips into eternity. May the ashes of one age sustain the seeds of the next. Love, Balthazar. Yeah. So 
cru. You need to rest, you can fast travel back to your home. Oh, sweet, fast travel. Oh, that's right. The uh, cinder vessels was what the main character comes out of. Forgot about that. Now well, that doesn't use snap, so it's not gonna work for me. Hmm. That's not what I meant to do.
Might not be as effective as maybe. Actually, yeah, because every hit I get a stone. Since I've actually seen a game that allows you to realistically mine stone, usually the ones that do <clears throat> takes you like several hours to mine enough stone to actually build anything, like several real life hours. So this is definitely a great feature to have in our game. That should be enough stone. Alright, now that I don't have any copyrighted music playing in the background. Alright, All right. oh, forgot what I was doing. Actually, make this a bit deeper.
business uh, that the uh, this game has uh, proper basements in it. Hmm. <clears throat> I actually didn't think I would need that much more wood. I guess that makes sense. was actually not at all like what I had in mind.
dirt. I didn't notice this before. Captain's Journal, Day 6. The raiders have besieged us these past two days, attacking from the bridge. Their eyes, such madness, we have withheld so far, but only just. We may not survive the next assault. I've ordered to rig the pass with our last munitions. If those scavengers return, we are prepared, Captain Arkwright. Ow, it's a bed right here. I can just sleep here. Just probably leave off here. Uh, it's getting late. <laughs> Had some other things I needed to do. Uh, I guess I will probably port again uh, at another point. Maybe more tomorrow. I don't know. I have terrible outros. And I mean, this has been like three videos with no actual outro anyways, so.